I have been doing photography in some form uh, almost my whole life. My first, I'd say, decent camera, uh, like a single lens reflex, uh, was that this was film at the time, uh, was a Minolta 35 millimeter. I was able to own it simply because I was in the military and I could buy it at the PX. I took a course uh, in photography at Penland and for the first time just began to uh, be more educated about the fundamentals because we did the whole process shooting the picture developing the film uh, in the dark room it just sort of flowed for me I am tremendously fascinated with all of the, you'd almost have to say, you'd almost say infinite possibilities with the, the effect of light. I particularly have uh, seen that in, in a very common uh, form of vegetation up here, in particular this time of year called maiden grass and the way the light falls on the fronds of the maiden grass I could just shoot maiden grass almost daily it just it, it, it changes as the light changes from the beginning of the day to sunset so I've shot a lot of maiden grass I like the reflection of light on the water like on the river uh, and then in the sky uh, the sun sets, uh, then, then I, I stumbled into lenticular clouds, and again, they are a very unusual phenomenon uh, in mountainous areas anywhere in the world, but what the light does with them, like uh, the, the colors that come into the clouds at times at the sunset, so um, I think light would be the, the best dynamic that, that, that draws me to photography.